I want to chat with you guys about paint pens or chalk pens. Sometimes people use those two words interchangeably, but it's important to know that they are different. Chalk pens are typically made from chalk and they will be more easily removable, whereas a paint pen is, this one is water-based, so it's made from a water-based acrylic paint and it's much less removable than something like a chalk pen. But sometimes people use those interchangeably, but I just wanted to tell you that they are different. <laughs> so today I'm gonna talk to you about paint pens, chalk pens. I'm gonna use them interchangeably, the words, because there are both chalk pens and paint pens in here. Um, these are pens that I use to make wedding signage, and I, gosh, I've probably spent so much money on trying to figure out what the best pen was. And I will tell you that different pens work good on different materials, and I'll talk about that today. But I think it's important, obviously I'm gonna tell you what I think about these pens, but I think it's important to explore yourself. Obviously there's ones in here that I think that you should just never buy. There's no reason for it, cause they're, you know, not that great, but. <laughs> But yeah, so let's get started. So the first one I'm gonna work with is technically a real chalk pen, and that's the Bistro Chalk Marker. You can find these at Michael's typically, and they're usually pretty inexpensive. I am not a huge fan of this marker. I don't feel like it works very well. It is not very opaque, in my opinion, and it's just kind of, I don't like it that much. So this is the Bistro. I will say though, some people love this. I know a calligrapher who loves this pen. She likes it because it's cheap. Um, so if you're looking for cheap, this is your um, marker. Another good thing is that this is very removable. Because it's a chalk pen, you're just gonna be able to remove it easily. I do need to write Bistro again because I want you guys to see the comparison. <laughs> The next one is a chalk pen as well, and this is the Versa Chalk. I really, really love Versa Chalk if I'm doing something that needs to be removed. Now, I do wanna make a note, if you are painting something with chalkboard paint, you're not gonna be able to get this off as easily as if you just buy a chalkboard that's really smooth already. The reason that is, is because chalkboards are very, very rarely, when you're painting it yourself, extremely smooth unless you're going in and sanding it down and making multiple layers so these work best on something like this where it's a chalkboard like surface but it's super smooth they're very removable um, the opacity is also really nice on this and it comes in a lot of really pretty colors this obviously is a bigger tip than this was um, another thing is it's so easily removable and versa actually you can remove this just with water. Versa actually has a kit for removing it and I use it on one of my chalkboards that I have. It's a great pen, um, especially if you want something removable. However, if you are using this for a wedding sign for your client, I really don't recommend it because if they wipe it or it gets like misty outside, it will bleed it will come off of surfaces really easy. So this is something I, I do at a menu in our house for dinner each week. And I use this because I know nobody's gonna touch the menu and I um, can remove it easily. These are good for those types of situations. Or maybe you're doing a menu at a coffee shop and they change it out weekly and it's up high and nobody touches it. This would be a good one. I don't recommend this if you are doing wedding signage just because um, there's a chance that it might come off and your client would not be very happy. The next one I wanna talk about is Chalk Ink. Um, that's the brand. This is a good one as well. It's pretty opaque. Um, it's not as opaque as the Versa and it's also removable. Again, I don't recommend this for wedding signage, but this might be a great one if you are doing a menu that gets changed out. Okay, moving on to Sharpie. 
So this technically isn't a chalk pen, it's a paint pen, but it's water-based. So Sharpie makes both water-based and oil-based paint pens. Super, super important that you read the label. It's going to be right here. So the water-based is blue and the oil-based I think is kind of a pinkish color. Make sure you know that when you buy it. Um, the water base, it's okay. I do use this sometimes if I am working on wedding signage. For example, I work with a wedding venue and they have these windows. And I like to use this for the windows because it's super easy to get off and the windows are kind of vintage so they don't wanna be scrubbing hard to get the paint off. So I use this one. It's okay, it's not my absolute favorite, but if I'm working on something where they wanna be able to remove it really easily, but not as easily as something like VersaChalk, then I recommend this water-based paint pen by Sharpie. The opacity is okay, it's not super, super strong. Okay, now we're getting to my favorites. So, Posca. I think that's how you pronounce it, Uni Posca. I love, love, love these. It, these are great for wedding signage if it's going to be removable. So um, whenever I work with a um, rental comp another rental company and they have a lot of stuff like these big vases that they use and I do calligraphy on those and they have windows and I like to use the Posca because it's very, the opacity is fantastic. Look how white that is. And it's also removable, but not removable like a chalk pen up here. Um, so if I just messed up right here, I could take, this is wet microfiber cloth, and I could remove it. Um, but it does smear easily if it's wet still. But I'll show you once it dries that I can like lightly wash over it and it shouldn't go anywhere. However, this is not going to be stay in place as well as our next paint pen and that is the Molotow again I might be pronouncing that incorrectly paint pen this is my absolute absolute favorite um, oh one thing I want to mention I use the Posca for all of my rental signs so all my rental signs um, this stays on pretty well I'm not worried that somebody can take their hand and smear it um, but it makes it possible when I get my signs back to be able to use a magic eraser and erase the Posca from them. And I treat my signs with a special sealer and um, I'm gonna have that coming up in oh, an actual online course that I'm doing, but this pen is removable that way. Okay, back to the Molotows. Molotows are my absolute favorite. Look how wonderful that opacity is. I love the tip of the pen. It writes just how I want it to. It's a beautiful, beautiful paint pen. I have used this on mirrors before and I like to use it on mirrors because it's water-based, but I'm able to use my, I use a Stabilo wax pencil. Here, let me get that really quick. I use this when I'm writing on mirrors or glass to make lines. And then I'm able to write, say I'm doing a seating chart, right over it. And this, once it's dry, it will not, if I take a microfiber cloth and rub out this wax pen, this won't come off. However, this pen will come off if I'm doing that, um, writing on a mirror and needing to remove the wax pen. So that's why I use this. This pen does come off. Um, I use Windex to get it off of mirror, so non-porous surfaces, like a mirror or windows or glass vases, this one will come off. Um, but other than that, it will stay. So now that we have it on here, oh, it's not quite dry, I'll show you in a second. Um, but this really stays put, and that's important to know because if you do a wood sign, it's not gonna come off the wood sign, no matter how hard you scrub with a magic eraser, I've done this before, it's really, really on there. So anytime I'm making permanent signage, I like to use this. I also cover my permanent signage with a layer of sealer if it's a wood sign, but that's just an extra added layer of protection. But this stays on there, so I don't, if you need something to be removable, unless you're working with a non-porous service, like uh, mirrors or glass. 
I don't recommend this if you need something to be removable, but if you're making a sign that's not removable, then perfect. And I do want to mention about the Molotows. You have about 10 seconds to get this off of whatever you wrote on. So if you just made a mistake, get a microfiber cloth and remove it while it's still wet and it'll come off fantastically. But okay, this is dry now. Watch. I really have to scrub. Okay, it's not all the way dry, so that's why it's coming off still. But once this is dry, it will not come off. Um, but the Posca is all dry now, and if you scrub pretty hard, it will come off. It will leave a little bit behind on chalkboard, just because chalkboard sometimes has a little, it's not completely smooth. But for the most part, it comes off. Posca is much more removable, but if I took something dry and went over it, it's not really gonna come off. But if I scratch these chalk pens up here, see, they come off. You don't want that. Um, okay, so that kind of sums up. See, it's on there. The Molotow, once it's dry, you're not getting it off. <laughs> I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Let me know what your favorite paint pens are. Of course, these are my favorite for removable, for non-removable. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.